Disability History, Panel 1, 3500 B.C. through 1000 A.D. Societal Values, Physical Perfection, Beauty, Intelligence. Living conditions for persons with disabilities were brutal during this period. Some people were able to survive through acts of charity or as objects of curiosity, but most were not as fortunate. Intolerance, sickness, and disregard for persons with disabilities often meant death or a very low quality of life. Disability has always been, and will likely always be, a part of the human condition. Moral Viewpoint Early Greeks and Romans valued physical perfection. Appearances mattered. Racial and physical differences were seen as marks of inferiority. Moral Viewpoint The philosopher Aristotle, 384-322 BC, believed as most others did in ancient Greece, that man was the most highly evolved being, and that woman was one giant evolutionary step below, representing, quote, the first step along the road to deformity, end quote. Aristotle also recommended that there should be a law to, quote, prevent the rearing of deformed children, end quote. In his politics, Aristotle wrote, quote, as to the exposure and rearing of children, let there be a law that no deformed child shall live, end quote. Social Viewpoint, Principle of the Least From the Bible, For he who is least among you all, he is the greatest. From Luke 9.46, Jesus Christ, 6 B.C. through 30 A.D., showed compassion for persons with disabilities. In the New Testament, Jesus is frequently credited with showing kindness and effecting miraculous cures of those who were lame, blind, and otherwise disabled. St. Paul directed Christians to comfort the feeble-minded. Jesus also welcomed those who were poor and disenfranchised and treated them as equals. Connection to different time in history. Connected to social viewpoint. Disenfranchised. Could include people with mental retardation, epilepsy, mental illness, leprosy, physical disability, or deformity. Medical viewpoint. Exposure. To expose men to leave one out in the weather to die. Exposing young children with severe disabilities was a common practice in ancient Greece. Moral viewpoint. The ancient era idealized physical and mental perfection. Disability, although common at this time, was viewed as a mark of inferiority. Moral viewpoint. With the rise of Christianity, there was a gradual influence on how persons with disabilities were treated. By the 4th century AD, the rise of Christianity led to more humane practices towards persons with disabilities. Infanticide, the practice of killing children, was discontinued, and helping the afflicted became a sign of strength. Medical Viewpoint Hippocrates, 460-377 B.C., believed that health involved a balance of the four humors, or basic body substances, blood, phlegm, yellow bile, and black bile. This belief led later physicians to relate mental illnesses and mental retardation to an imbalance of the black bile. Stereotype. Holy innocence. Belief that individuals are special children of God, with a special purpose, seen as incapable of committing evil, and sometimes viewed as living saints. Involvement by persons with disabilities. Objects of scorn or charity. Survival as beggars. Responses to disability. Abandonment. Exposure. Mutilation. Quote, there is only one good, knowledge, and one evil, ignorance. End quote. Socrates, 